Everything continues to look good with Discovery. Discovery OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate OT flow. Discovery copies, close and visors in O2. T minus two minutes and counting. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being terminated. T minus one minute, 35 seconds. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery. T minus one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressures. T minus one minute and counting. T minus 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells, coming up on a go for auto sequence start in 10 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Space Station. Speed of thousand miles an hour, altitude one mile, downrange four and a half miles from the Kennedy Space Center already. Three good engines startling back to two thirds of the rate of thrust. Passing the air of maximum dynamic pressure, about to go supersonic. View from the external tank camera. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All systems remain in go for Discovery. Altitude 8 miles. Speed 1700 miles an hour. Downrange 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Boost drops are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. 
They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Discovery Houston, two-engine Maroon. Two-engine Maroon. That call means Discovery can perform a transatlantic oceanic land landing at Maroon, Spain, if required. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Speed now, 4,500 miles an hour, altitude 45 miles, downrange 78 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Possibly five minutes remaining until main engine cutoff. Speed almost 5,000 miles an hour, altitude 53 miles, downrange 110 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston, negative return. Negative return. That call means Discovery has gained too much speed and altitude to return to the Kennedy Space Center for a landing if a problem arises. Just under four minutes until main engine cutoff. During that time, Discovery is going to triple its speed to reach the 17,400 miles an hour needed to reach Earth orbit. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, Three good fuel cells. Altitude 6,300 miles. 63 miles. Discovery Houston, press to ATO, select Istris. Press to ATO, select Istris. Discovery now could reach a continue watch live downlink television pictures. External tank separation confirmed. You get off the tank. Nominal Miko Ohms will not required, and you got a lot of smiling faces up here. <laughs>